The Nucleus rocket is ready for launch. Lead engineer Adrian Boron believes it could herald the start of a new era, where smaller and smarter rockets can bring satellites into orbit at a much lower cost than before. Basically, this is just the beginning for us. And this is the first rocket. It's a demonstrator, technology demonstrator. It's just uh, nine meter long, 800 kilo, but it has all the building blocks that will be further needed for micro launcher system here. Yeah. And while uh, traditional solid fuel rockets are usually big, expensive, and use explosive fuel, the hybrid motor is inert. Basically, we use uh, two chemicals. On the one side, we have liquid hydrogen peroxide. On the other, we use a rubber type of solid fuel. And this I brought together in the combustion chamber, combust, and crea create then uh, this uh, high pressure and temperature in the chamber. And this energy is transformed into kinetic energy that is then pro propelling the rocket forward. And so this is what's powering Nucleus, and this is what will power then future Norwegian micro launcher um, system that will provide. Uh, launch service for small satellites uh, to reach orbit. While the concept has been known for a long time, no one really got it to work before now. Hybrid rockets have been around for a very long time already. In the, the first actually rocket the Soviets uh, tested with, uh, Karlyov in the 30s was a hybrid rocket. Uh, then in the 50s and 60s, there were a lot of activities in France, in the US, in the 80s and so on. Uh, but I think the difference is with our technology is that we managed to uh, solve a lot of the shortcomings that the previous uh, uh, attempts had. The next step is to scale up the rocket size and start launching satellites. And this at the end of the day is uh, a rocket that is then very much competitive and affordable and can enable new missions at a fraction of the cost of uh, current available solid rocket motors or liquid rocket motors.